first of all, we try and mow at about 11 o'clock uh, in the morning. We follow the mower around with the tether that gets tethered out within the first hour of being mowed. And then we'll pick up the following morning at 11 o'clock. So we're, we're looking for a 24 hour wheel. I don't want any more than that as I don't want the, the grass getting um, too dry. This year, I got a cling film silage sheet which fitted the whole of the clamp. So there's no joins in it. There's no ways that the air can get underneath it. it we roll it out, it fits the whole clamp. We put the silage sheet then over the top and then we've got another uh, silage sheet which fits the whole clamp as well. This is our third year now and we've done every year they're exactly the same. We're filling the clamps. But what I do, because I find it works well with our system and our type of cow is I like to have my first cut at the front of the clamp. So we always have enough first cut to go about two thirds into my sided clamp. So I know that they're getting the best quality stuff at the start. So and that will last all the way through to the breeding season. And then I'll slowly, at the end of the breeding season, we'll then slowly go on to our second cut and it'll be a slowly transition onto that second cut. And then with our third and fourth cuts, I've got two clamps either side of them. And I just layer them about five foot in each clamp. And then that will spread through all of the clamp. And then we'll go on top in the uh, end of September with the maize. We'll put the maize over the top. What we we did is, because it's, it's a very wide clamp, the most important thing is getting it rolled and compacted the way we want it to. 